Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh coming to you live with another Barefoot Minimalist Shoe Review. Today is a little bit unique. This review is because I've already actually reviewed this shoe, but there's a special reason I'm, I'm doing this extra review of the shoe. Not only did I get a new color, but um, they are on a sale for a ridiculous price right now uh, that I thought you would want to know about if you have any interest in these shoes whatsoever. Um, so the Groundies Colorado. I did a previous review with my red ones and my blue ones. Yes, I like this shoe enough to get two pairs. Um, excuse me, I'm going to take a sip of coffee here. Don't mind me. But oh my goodness. Um, so they had a couple other colors. They have yellow, they have green. They're on Amazon. Don't ask me why, but I just looked at them on Amazon again, even though I already own them. And I noticed that they were on sale for $39. I mean, that's insane. Most quality barefoot shoes are usually in the $100, $150, right in that range. So to find barefoot shoes from a legit barefoot shoe company that's a quality shoe for $39 is crazy town, right? You, get, you can barely buy a pair of shoes at Payless for $39. And these are legit barefoot shoes. So check it out. Grandis Colorado. I got the yellow. Now, some of you are like yellow shoes. I don't know. But, you know, I love colors. You, if you've seen any of my videos, you probably know that. Um, but yeah, so rock, rock a yellow shirt, some dark blue jeans. And these guys, these suede yellow shoes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm about it. $39. I'm in. Uh, I own one other pair of yellow shoes, also made by Groundies, the Havana, which they no longer make. I'm really careful with those because uh, I just uh, they, they make me nervous. They're so pretty that I don't want to risk dripping anything out or having my kids step on them. So it's like, if I'm going to go out, I'll wear those. But these guys, you know, beautiful suede, cowhide shoe. I mean, you might even be able to see the texture of the suede on this video. Look at, you can see it. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Uh, I mentioned on another video, they did some kind of, treatment to this that kind of makes it look old school um, like it's been maybe used uh, but they did it on purpose and it's just beautiful and you don't feel like you got to be so ginger with them but anyways groundy shoes in general and these shoes in particular meet all the typical barefoot standards for the most part uh, zero drop from heel to toe meaning it's a perfectly flat surface you're standing on there's no raised heels no uh, I forget what they call this in the front spring or whatever they call it in the front of the shoe none of that it's flat there's no arch supports on the inside because your arches are plenty strong the way they were designed. Now, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I'm almost 50. I've been wearing barefoot shoes almost exclusively for like 10, 11 years now. So if about the first 40 or so years of my life, I wore arch supports in my shoes like everyone else. Um, and what happens is, you know, your foot has that arch and then you put an arch support under it and all these muscles, ligaments and tendons just get lazy because they don't need to be used. So they just go, what am I working so hard for? And they just begin to atrophy and get weak. And so uh, that happened for 40 years and I switched to barefoot shoes uh, over a year or two and all my shoes became barefoot shoes. And now I have strong feet and um, I hopefully, probably the rest of my life will never need arch supports now because my arches are strong the way they were designed to be. So look at these beautiful shoes, man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> these are gorgeous so uh, I mean beautiful yellow suede so zero drop no arch supports next thing on barefoot shoes is wide toe box and groundies have one of the wider shoes I have super wide feet after wearing um, barefoot shoes for so long my feet have really spread out and strengthened the way that feet are supposed to do over your life and these guys fit me comfortably I don't have any tightness on the sides or across this section right here, which is a one problem area, even with some barefoot shoes for me. Um, so yeah, wide toy box or wide toe box or anatomic foot shape. This is the shape of a human foot. You know what I mean? Imagine that a shoe that's actually the shape of a foot. <laughs> what a novel idea. So, um, and then lastly, flexibility and ground feel. So, you know, the soles, you can do this, you know, typical barefoot shoe roll up test. You can, from the side view, you know, you can bend the soles this way, curl it. You can twist it like a twisty donut. Um, these are just beautiful shoes. Uh, these have a pretty thick lug on them. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, they have a pretty good shadow in there. So the the lugs plus the base, you got a 6.9 millimeter total on this, but plenty of ground feel on these guys. Trust me, 
Um, they're actually a good comfortable medium. I have some super uber thin ones that are like two or three millimeters. And then I have some thicker ones that are like dress shoes and, and so on. And these are a good comfortable medium. So if you're somebody who is looking into trying barefoot shoes, this might be a good um, transition shoe. If you're like me and you've been wearing barefoot shoes all your life, these are still freaking awesome. Uh, you're not going to lose anything. And these are just going to be comfy all day. You're, you're going to Disneyland for the day or who knows what you might be doing. You're going to be out at the mall all day, walking a lot, standing a lot. These guys are plenty of thin, plenty of ground feel, but there, there's going to be some comfort there. You could also add an insole in there if you're new to barefoot shoes and get a little bit more cushion even. So there's that. Um, what else? Is there to say Groundies as a company? I have about four or five pairs of their shoes. I love them. I mean, if I got three pairs in the say, of the same shoe, I mean, that should tell you a lot right there, right? But for $39, I just couldn't resist it. I didn't need a third color or a third pair of the same shoe. But again, $39 for a quality barefoot shoe, just get them. Now, the catch is on Amazon, they're limited selection. So you put in your size. And, oh, oh, I'm going to have an affiliate link down here. So click that link, please, and go there put in your size selection and then it'll tell you what colors are available. So if you click on the yellow and your size disappears, guess what? They don't have your size there. They are disappearing. I'm sure that's why the prices are just getting rid of them, getting rid of the stock uh, before they come out with something fresh and new. So I had a request to actually see the shoes on my feet. So I'm going to try to figure out how to do that here. So check it out and don't mind my fuzzy red Christmas socks that I have on because I'm not about to change my socks right now just to make the video. So enjoy. Hope you can see them on my feet. Okay, I just stepped outside so that you can see the shoes. And I, you know, I am on front-facing camera, so I'm going to turn it down toward my feet and hopefully see the shoes what you would uh, see when you're looking down. So that's kind of I got sweats on today. I'm working from home, chilling in my sweats. Um, but that's what they look like from above. Uh, now I'm going to set up the camera so you can see other angles. All right, here we go. Here's a little walk for you. Check them out from the front here. Do a little squat here. You can see the nice bend. They can easily bendable shoes. Plenty of flex. They don't leave any gnarly creases on top when you do. They're just beautiful. All right. Check out my red socks with a, some snowman for Christmas. So, anyway, that's the shoes can't say enough they are on sale $39 again the supplies are dwindling and uh, check out the colors green blue red yellow get them on Amazon hit my link below $39 grab them up see ya